What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI of another Dell Optiplex 7020. This is going to be a, this video is a tear down disassembly. So what you need is uh, get yourself some latex gloves and a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. And remove the side cover panel. I'll try to focus the camera. Get a few guys can see better view. First off, I'm gonna start off the hard drive. Just connect the SATA cable and power. Disconnect from the caddy. There's little clips where you're pressing down to remove it. And disconnect the hard drive really easy. Bends the hard drive caddy bends. So I got that disconnected. Now remove the front cover bezel right here. There's little clips right here. Press them up and remove the front cover bezel. Just like that. Remove the press this down here. Secure clip right here to remove the optical drive. Disconnect the SATA and power and remove the optical drive. Now I'm going to disconnect the. Uh, we're going to disconnect the memory. Remove that. Now there's a cables right here for the power. Get that disconnected. Four pin right here. SATA. SATA car SATA cable right here. There's a and there's a USB connect. Oh, I'm just move up the camera. You guys can see. There's gonna be more cables in the bottom right here. Can you see? This is the USB right here. Get that disconnected. Front panel right here to the USBs right there. And there's gonna be one here in the top for the power switch. Right here. The power switch is right here. And be really gentle, you don't want to pull too hard. There's gonna be clips in the middle. The one right here for the fan, rear system fan right here. There's a little clip you gotta press on it to release it. And This one right here has little clips on it, you gotta press and release the secure locks and the internal speaker. So yeah, we got everything disconnected now. I'm gonna try to remove the uh, the heatsink fan, the cooler here for the processor, get that removed. There's gonna be a four pin for the for the heat he's a for the cooler CPU fan right here. There's a four pin and a little clip where you press on it to remove it. Secure lock. So So move the heatsink fan cooler. Okay now I should remove the power supply. There's gonna be four screws in the back. Use a Phillips screwdriver. So it's got four screws for the power supply. Now there's a little clip right here, you press it down to release the PCI bracket and remove the PCI brackets right here. There's going to be like four of them if you have nothing installed, there's going to be PCI brackets right here. So get that removed. Now, what should I do? I'm going to remove the fan here, rear system fan. It holds not by the screws but by the rubber it looks like, rubber feet it looks like, so it runs a lot quieter so it's really easy to disconnect it. Just be really gentle, you don't pull too hard, it comes right off, if you be gentle it comes right off, but if you press on to pull it too hard it will rip off the feet, the rubber. So here's the system fan, it's a 92 millimeter. It looks like it's running four pin connection, like it's a five but it's only four wire. It's a five pin but it's a four wire. One, two, three, four, five. It's a five pin, but it's a four wire connection. So, 
So now I'm going to disconnect the motherboard. So the total three, six, so three, four, five, okay, three, six, seven, eight. So the total eight screws actually here. So see one, okay, one, two, three, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so this total eight screws gonna be mounted to the motherboard. Total. Okay, now, so now we can remove the motherboard. Really easy, it comes right off. Make sure there's no cables, nothing connected to it. There should be everything be disconnected, all the connections. So remove the processor. Well, the easy is a clip here. Press it right. Comes right off. Now, if you want to remove the battery and you have a flathead screwdriver, and you just press on it like this, little clip here, secure lock, and battery comes right off, just like that. See the motherboard, and the uh, last part is uh, the, uh, the power supply. There's a secure clip right here. Press it down right here, a little clip, and release the power supply, secure lock. So you press on it, and the power supply should come right out. But make sure you disconnect the four screws in the back before you do that. And so here's the power supply. And the last part would be is the eye shield, the back plate right here. To get that removed, just click the get a screwdriver and just step in the back really gently and it comes right off. Just like that. Eye shield back plate. So you guys, this is it. This is the Dell end of the video. This is Dell Optiplex 7020 mini tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.